Hi guys, Mr. Janowski here. Uh, finally, I've got some videos for Physics 2. So this is from the Chapter 35 Study Guide. Uh, these are the first two problems. These are going to be pretty easy and quick. Um, so let's just get right into these guys. So now I'm flipping my Chromebook over so that it is a tablet. Uh, let's see, we need to figure out the equivalent resistance seen by the batteries in these two circuits. This should be really easy. Uh, in both cases, what is step huh, going to be? We want the equivalent resistance. So step huh, will be R E Q is equal to question mark. Uh, and quick, what are the units of resistance? Ohms, my favorite Greek letter. Um, yeah, so we're going to try to do that for both of these circuits. So for the first one, let's see, what do we have? We have three resistors. Are these guys in series or parallel? Pretty clear these guys are all in series. So this should be an easy one. Uh, what's your rule for adding resistors in series? You just add them. These guys add normally. So for the first one, REQ is just going to be R1 plus R2, plus R3. So that is 30 ohms, plus 30 ohms, plus 30 ohms. Uh, you probably don't need your calculator for this one. Where did that little ohm come from? That was weird. 30 ohms, all right. Uh, yeah, again, you're not going to need your calculator for this one. REQ is going to be... 90 ohms. So put a box around it. Step hmm. Did we solve for the right thing? Did we give it the right units? Yes, we did. So great. Very easy. For the second problem, uh, we're trying to do the same thing. So look at these resistors. How are these guys arranged? These guys are all in parallel. So think what's your rule for adding uh, resistors in parallel? You've got this formula. REQ is going to be 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 uh, to the minus 1. So what's that going to give us? 1 over 30 ohms plus 1 over, uh, believe me, that's a 30. 30 ohms plus 1 over 30 ohms to the minus 1. Uh, if you put this in your calculator, what do you get? REQ ends up being 10 ohms. So put a box around it. Uh, and quick step, hmm, we solved for the right thing. We gave it the right units. Uh, does this answer make sense? Uh, we have 10 ohms. Again, this is a little bit weird. Um, it kind of seems intuitively wrong. Uh, we've added three 30 ohm resistors and our resistance has gone down. It seems weird that when you add resistors, it can go down, but that is actually what happens. Um, so yeah, we're happy with that. Give it a check. So hopefully that helps.